Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the Air Jordan Future. Now as you can see, it comes in your standard black and white Jordan box. I'll give you a quick look at the label. It's listed as the Air Jordan Future. Some places online actually have it listed as the Air Jordan Future Flight. Not sure why that is. The colorway is Varsity Royal, Varsity Royal and White, size 9.5 US, and the retail price sticker is ripped off. But because this is a general release colorway, it retails for $150 US, whereas the premium editions or the more limited colorways that they've come out with retail for $185. But those are next to impossible to get. So here is a look at the Varsity Royal colorway of the Air Jordan Future. I've had my eye on this shoe for a little while now. They first unveiled it, I want to say sometime in February, and the first colorway came out in very limited quantities, I believe on March 1st, and they've released several other colorways since then, but most of them have been these premium editions that are $185, super limited, and pretty much impossible to get online, unless you're having a really, really lucky day. Um, so this has kind of been my first opportunity to purchase a pair. I really like this Varsity Royal color. I was also interested in the Volt one, but I decided to go for these, just because they were a little bit more soft. The Volt ones are pretty loud, but actually this colorway as well as the all Volt colorway of the Jordan Future is still available. It's really the only two that haven't sold out at this point. So if you're interested in purchasing a pair of these for yourself, like I said, either in this color or a Volt yellow color, check out the review page on my website, link down below in description. I'll have buy it now links to all of the online retailers that still have these things in stock at retail price because you can get them on eBay all you want, but you're going to be paying well over retail, which is something that you should shouldn't necessarily have to do, especially for a general release shoe like this one. So here it is guys, this is the Air Jordan Future in that uh, royal colorway. Um, and I have to say, it's a really interesting shoe in person. Uh, it looks a lot different in person than I was honestly expecting. Uh, the online picture is kind of depicted as a very high quality shoe. And in person, I don't want to say that the quality is poor, it's just not honestly what I was expecting. Now the whole kind of novelty of the Jordan Future is that it features a woven upper. So you can see it actually is these little kind of lines of material kind of woven together. It's kind of like a nylon I suppose, I'm not sure what exactly you would call this material. But it's completely woven, that includes a tongue. And then of course there's a liner on the inside that kind of covers the entire shoe. So it's not just uh, this woven material to make up the entire upper. And actually, if you take out this little piece here, there's really no structure to the upper at all. Not in the ankle, not in the forefoot, not in the toe. It's completely just kind of woven material, very loose, no actual structural integrity to the shoe whatsoever, which is kind of cool. And please keep in mind that this is not really intended as a performance product. It's more so designed for casual wear. I think a lot of people, when they first unveiled it, thought it was actually a performance product because it did feature that Jordan 11 bottom, um, which to me just looks really cool. I think it ties in well with the overall design. And it's just one of those shoes that I thought was pretty unique and I wanted to pick up a pair for myself, more so because I was curious and really didn't have an opportunity, probably will never have an opportunity to see these things in store just based on where I live um, in Canada. They just don't have these things in stores. I'm not even sure if they've been available in Canada as of yet. But anyways, this is a shoe, like I said, full woven upper. And again, the quality I was expecting to be a little bit better. It's one of the general release colorways and I will grant Jordan brand some credit that the premium ones that do cost a little bit more do look and uh, at least, well, like I said, they look a lot nicer from what I've seen online. I can't really uh, tell you if the material is any better or if they're made any better uh, at all. Uh, but they definitely do look a little bit better. But again, I'm not complaining too much. For $150, it's expensive, but it's not terribly unreasonable in comparison to what Jordan Brand charges for some of their other shoes. And for the most part, it's just a, kind of a unique concept. It's certainly not for everybody. I've heard some mixed reviews on the Jordan Future. Some people absolutely love how it looks. Some people hate it. I really like them. I think it's a pretty cool shoe and they're also very comfortable, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later in the video. So you can see you have very minimal branding on the shoe. There's really no Jumpman logos across the entire upper. You're only going to find one gold embroidered Jumpman logo right here on the tongue. Other than that though, there's really no branding here whatsoever. You can see there's one under the um, kind of translucent blue outsole, but again, it's very difficult to see because it is such a dark royal blue to match the rest of the upper. So again, very, very minimal branding, which is slightly unusual, but I guess kind of goes along with that whole Jordan 11 theme. The lacing system, as you can see, is not right down the middle. It's kind of 
right here on the instep, which I thought was kind of unusual. Looks pretty cool and it gives it a very clean look from the side profile as you guys can see. It almost looks from this angle like there aren't any laces on the shoe whatsoever. So you do have these kind of rope laces with almost like a slightly wax finish. There's no lace holes, just these nylon lace loops as you guys can see. And again, you have your tongue, which is also made of the same woven pattern as the rest of the upper. Again, no structural integrity here whatsoever. Moving on to the midsole, it's a completely white foam midsole. Again, exactly like what you would get from your standard Jordan 11. And then moving on to the outsole, you have this translucent uh, royal blue color, just like the rest of the upper. And then the little pod of herringbone in the forefoot and heel that are solid white in color. Even as you guys can see the little carbon fiber piece right here that's exposed, apparently there's more carbon fiber in there as well. It's difficult to say whether or not it's actually carbon fiber because of how dark the tint is on the rubber outsole. But the carbon fiber that is visible right here is also tinted blue, which I thought was kind of an interesting little um, design element. I wish they would have kept it black just to have that kind of standard carbon fiber look. But again, they've decided to paint it blue here. And I guess it looks pretty cool. It's an interesting little touch. Uh, but that's pretty much it as far as the Jordan Future is concerned, all the details. There's not a whole lot to talk about here. It's a pretty straightforward design. Here's the lace tips for those of you that are interested. It does have the Jumpman there on the end. And it's actually a metal lace tip that is gold in color. So again, it kind of has that somewhat premium vibe. I can't complain too much about the overall quality. But again, that's it for the Jordan Future. And move on next to how these things look on feet. And of course, what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the Jordan Futures on feet with a pair of shorts. And overall, I think as a pair of summer shoes, these are pretty nice. They're very, very comfortable. The woven upper really has, like I mentioned earlier, no structural integrity to it. So it's pretty much just like a soft sock-like material. But with that being said, for those of you guys that were considering this as a performance basketball product, I think once you try these on, your opinion will change a lot. There's really no stability to the upper and for the most part, it has some pretty good stretch to it. So it's not the most stable feeling thing and it isn't anything you would want to be wearing at high speeds or making quick changes of direction. It's strictly designed for casual wear and that's something I really want to stress in today's video. As far as the overall fit and comfort of the shoe, it's very, very comfortable. They feel like a pair of socks. Uh, they're not the widest shoes, so please keep that in mind. If you have really wide feet, you may want to try these on in store if they're available to you, or just go a half size up just to allow for a more comfortable fit. But other than that, the sole feels like that of a Jordan 11, so it's relatively comfortable. Not the most comfortable outsole, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, but for the most part, I like how they look. They're uh, nice and lightweight. They feel good as a summer shoe, and they look pretty good too, if you like the styling of the Jordan Future. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 US, and they run true to size. So again, as long as you don't have wide feet, you can stay true to size with this particular model. So that's pretty much it as far as what they look like on feet with a pair of shorts. And I'll leave you next to what they look like on feet with a pair of pants. All right, here's a quick look at the Jordan Future on feet with a pair of pants. And I think that since it has such a simple, clean design with pretty much one color and just a white midsole, it's gonna work with pretty much anything you wanna wear it with. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward royal blue color, so uh, I think it's very wearable with either shorts or pants, depending on what you like the look of. Um, and overall, it's a comfortable pair of shoes. They look great, no matter what you wear them with. And as long as you like the Jordan Future, I would say it's definitely a must-buy shoe. Uh, definitely something that I'm personally a really big fan of at this point in time. All right guys, that's it for my review of the Air Jordan Future. It's one of those shoes that certainly is not for everybody, um, but it's nice to see Jordan brand kind of trying to do something new as opposed to just doing retros over and over and over again. And obviously they innovate with their kind of performance products, but something like this to me, it's unique, it's innovative, it's different. And I think it's always good when companies are putting out products every once in a while at least, that are kind of 50-50 in terms of people loving them or just absolutely hating them. And I think that's part of the reasons why I really like this particular product. It's interesting, it's innovative, and I'm curious to see what the future holds for the Jordan future. Um, that's pretty much it for my review guys. If you have any questions at all or any for suggestions for other shoes you'd like to see featured on the channel, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I'm always open to hearing what you guys want to see as far as content is concerned. If you enjoyed today's video and want to see more, be sure to support it with a like of course. If you guys are interested in the detailed images I took myself of the shoe, just to give you a better idea as to the overall quality in person, be sure to check out the review page on my website linked down below. You'll find those high quality images as well as 
as the Buy It Now links that I mentioned earlier, just as long as the Jordan Futures are still available. And of course, if you're interested in the pair, it's an easy place to go check it out. Um, other than that though, guys, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more sneaker reviews. All of my social media information can be found down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.